So section 5.5 is a whole, oh, yuck, is a whole bunch of problems, all right, that are application sort of things. So what are they going to give you? Well, they're going to give you things like this. They are going to give you a rate. And then ask you for how much stuff between here and here. So for instance, if I told you you're going 60 miles an hour, how far did you go between time equal one and time equals two? Well, I don't really know, but if I knew the rate, then you're like, well, it was at 60, now I'm at 120, I went 60, yay. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna do integrals. Well, if it was a constant rate, you really wouldn't need calculus now, would you? <laughs> I didn't think so. So you're gonna give you a rate that is a function of time. But what is this really? It is some derivative, if you will, right, of some f. True that? So how are we going to get this? We're going to take the integral of this f prime of t, right, or that rate, and from some a to b. Yeah. Big surprise. What kind of taco is that? Judas Priest, the thing is like as big as your head. What did you put in the thing? I know oh, it's a burrito. I'm sorry. Thank you. What is in there? Was that a bake? With bacon with guacamole. That sounds really good. But it's, it feels bigger than normal. Yeah, they like making a bacon. Oh, okay. So that okay. I just didn't know if you like put some extra gunk stuff in there. All right, cool. Cool. There you go. So you're like, well, give us an example, Mr. Graham. I'd love to watch this. Suppose, does that make sense for you? Mm -hmm. We're good? Are we done? No? Maybe? Yeah? Maybe? No? Maybe? Yeah? Okay, good. Here we go. So, for instance, a projectile is released with an initial vertical velocity of 100 meters a second. No way. That's vertical velocity. What? Uh, v sub V, if you will. Right. Uh, use the formula 100 minus 9.8 t ooh, to determine the distance traveled in the first 15 seconds. So here I am. I draw hair, but what's the point, right? Throw the ball up in the air, and it comes right back down. Mm hmm. How far did it go? Well, I don't know. It went up and come back, didn't it? Isn't this a rate? I feel like it is. Why is it changing rate? Because it's slowing down the way up, right? So I'm going to integrate this deal. But I'm going to do it from, I forgot what I said. Did I say 15? 15 seconds. Holy buckets. There you go. So, da, 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 da. so that's 100 t, is that right? Right? Minus 4.9 t squared. Who saw that coming? <laughs> From 0 to 15. Mm hmm. 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 1500. Is that right? Of course it is. 225 times 5 is uh, 450, it's 900, that's 1125-ish. If you're just now getting a calculator out, screw you, I'm going with 1125. I don't even freaking care anymore. No, it's fine, you can check, I'm just saying. So, so 375, oops, I'm sorry, what did I say, minus, yes. So what did that come out to be? 375, is that what I said? Mm-hmm. Does that come out right? Is that true? That sounds about right. 375-ish, I think. <laughs> that right? Did I get it right? That's what I said. Because that's not really 1125. Okay, nag off, people. 397 meters. Okay, that's the game. That's just it. That's all there is to this thing. You're just like, oh, it's not very hard. Wait, Mr. Groom, there's more. Well, of course there is. Okay, what about this problem right here? Ooh, yes. Ooh, dandy. The traffic flow past a certain point on the highway is this thing, 3,000 plus 2,000 T. Plus point one, two, three, four zeros and a one. 
nice. And this is traffic flow, and, they, and it said it was uh, Q of T. Q of T. By the way, what is this measuring you're saying? Oh, it's great. Where T is in hours, that's Q. How many cars pass by between 8 and 10 a.m.? Yo, I don't know. But this is what? It's cars per hour. That's the rate, yes? Huh? Cool. So it wants to know how many cars go by every hour, or between, what did I say, 8 and 10? Why? 0, 2 is going to be different, right? Why? Why would zero and two be different? Or would zero and two be different? Would it be? I don't know, we'll find out in a minute. It's a good question, let's find out. So if you do that, what happens there? What, it, what it happens? Well, I don't know. 3,000 T, yes? Plus two, no, 1,000 T squared, huh? Huh, huh? Plus, oh, Judas Priest, point one, two, three, is that three zeros? Sorry, you need one more zero. It needs four zeros. You need four zeros. One over three T cubed, yes? From eight to ten. Nice. Nice. So what does it come out to be? Remember, this is a rate of flow in cars per hour. Here, well, one of you run a, one of you, you could probably run a calculator, can't you, Angel? I mean, you're not doing much except eating, right? I mean, Jacob's writing. He looks busy anyways. I don't know if he really is. But, oh, could you get your brand new iPhone all gross? Oh, yuck. You're going to get, like, all sticky fingers all over it. All right, we'll wait. <laughs> I can do it in my head. I just don't want to. I don't want to show off. I feel like that would be rude. Don't laugh at me over there, lady. You're a mean, mean girl. Man, she's mean to me. The video has no sound. <laughs> no, those computers have no sound. No, we tested it. It's your video. I'll just watch what I do. I don't know what to tell you. It had sound last night when I recorded it. I don't know. Sorry. You'll figure it out. That's really weird. I just work here. No, I don't know. Today. Good thing we're not in a hurry. That's all I got to say. Forty-two thousand. And of course, if this was cars per hour, these are in hours, so it's 42,000 cars that go by. That's a lot. By the way, they don't do this kind of research on a country road because nobody freaking cares. They do this on a big, busy road because if we build a bigger road, should we put in more traffic lights, whatever? They, they study this crap. They don't study it out in Timbuktu somewhere, so obviously there's going to be a lot of cars. So that's kind of the whole point. What happens, though, if you put 0, 2 here instead? Would it be the same? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm curious. I want to know. Try it. Try it now. You're like, Mr. Gunn, there's got to be an easier way. Well, you know, this is really cool if you have a TI-89 for you could just, you know, plug it in. If you have your Desmos.com, it's not very hard either. What do you get? 10,000. What? 10,000. 10,000. Is that right? Yeah. 10,000. Is that what you got? I just thought they don't believe him. I'm just saying. There you go. Ten thousand. <laughs> Ten thousand cars between between zero and two. When would this be? Zero and two. When would that be? Midnight. Two a.m. Yeah. Wow. I'm shocked. I'm not shocked. Okay. Now, what's weird about this thing, though, is this is a quadratic. The original function is a quadratic. <laughs> I mean, it's just going to keep going up, yes, throughout the day. So, like, eleven at night could have the most. So this probably works really good in the mornings to a point. And well, that probably is no bueno anymore after that, right? So it builds up, builds up, and now we need a new equation to describe what's going on, right? Because obviously, probably midday it tapers off, slash drops down a little bit, picks up again at night, and then drops off again. Big surprise. But that's it. That's how those guys work. Not very difficult. 
So the gist of it is, when you're doing them, you're going to be like, oh, I know, let's, uh, let's just integrate. Exactly. Now, I do have a couple of things here. Let's check this out. Suppose you had a question like this. And I'm going to write theirs out, but I'm going to tweak it just a little bit. A small boutique produces wool sweaters at a marginal cost of... Now, theirs looks like this. And I'm going to show it to you. Ooh, tricky dicky. For zero, less than X, less than 20. But in other words, for the first 20 shirts they make, that's how much they cost to make per shirt. That's cool. Oh, yes. Well, that's the greatest integer function. We know that. Find the cost of producing 20 sweaters. All right. Well, that's cool. I think I can handle that. What? Ah. What does this function look like? Uh, well, how does this no well no <laughs> no we're not going to use substitution on this guy what does this graph look like I don't know so let's go to Desmos and find out shall we so on the great Desmos.com oops hi Matt go away Matt there we go ah so it's forty minus wait for it the Greatest integer, less than or equal to, boom, the floor function of, is it x over 5, I said? No, not x minus 5, stupid. What? Yeah, it's right there. Stream, why can't I see it? That's because it's way up here, yo. Relax. I'll get there. Oh, there it is. Nice. Oh, my gosh, it's a step function. That's key. I know. Let's change this because it said it's going from where to where. How many sweaters? Zero to 20. What? There they are. Boom. Huh. If only there was a way to find the area under this curve. Well, I feel like it's a bunch of rectangles. It's actually four of them, yes? So if you added them up, it'd be 40 times 5, yes? And then it would be uh, 35 times 5, and then 30 times 5, and then 25 times 5, I think. Check my math on that. Does that sound right? Right? Or I feel like, hypothetically, I should be able to do this. 40, oops, well, no. Try, no. Try again, dummy. 40 plus 35 plus 30 plus 25, right? And how wide is each of those guys? I know. How much did it cost to make those sweaters? It cost $650 to make all those sweaters. Yes. The first five sweaters cost $40. The next five cost $35 a piece and so on and so on and so on. Yes. Now, here's my question. No. 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 What was the average cost for those sweaters? Now, some people might go, well, let's see, it was 40, 35, 30, and 25. So I should be able to average it and go, what is that, uh, I don't know, 32 and a half or something. But I feel like I made 40 sweaters, didn't I? Yes? And I feel like it cost $650 for all 40 sweaters, didn't it? All right? All right? What happened there? 40 sweaters, $650. Oh, wait, okay. So that's my total cost. Yes, that's cost per square. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now hold up. Now that's weird. Hold up. Something went wrong. Oh, thank you. There's my problem. Thank you. Yay. 32 and a half. Okay, nice. Now, notice that it's exactly 32 and a half because it came down in five step increments. Yes? If it came down more like this, would it be just a nice straight average like that? Because it would be like higher, no, well, for you guys it would be over here, it would be higher, higher, it would be dropping like this and then leveling off. So the average wouldn't be the same, yes? But in this case, I made $650. That's how much I spent. I spent that on 20 sweaters. That's an average of 32 and a half a piece, yes? It's, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do, okay? Now, that brings up to an interesting point, which we're not going to learn it again until way later, but I'm just going to show this to you. Suppose you had a function that looked like this. I don't care what it looks like. It's not important to me. From A to B. Mm -hmm. What's the average height of that function? How can I figure that out? 
from here to here. Average height. Or if you prefer, average value of f of x, if you will. <coughs> How can I figure that out? Brooke? Why not, Brooke? Brooke, no, shut up, Brooke. I don't want to hear it. Brooke, I feel like this is 10. Mr. Kim, why are you just pulling those numbers out of your butt? As always, Brooke, 10 equals 40. No, let's do, no, let's do x, let's do y equals, let's do y equals, uh, I don't know, let's do y equals 30 up here, sure. Is the average 20? I don't know, it feels weird if I drew that. I mean, 20 is going to be like right in the middle, but I don't know if that looks like the average or not. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. What if I did this? If I asked you if this is f of x, what would happen if you integrated f of x from a to b? What would you get? What is that thing we're finding? We're always finding the what? The area. Yes? The area. Wait a minute. The area. So we found this whole area. Yeah. yeah. What if you made it into a box? What if you made that area into a rectangle? It would need to have a length and a width. Yes? Huh? 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 And look, the width is what? It's B minus A. Right? So the height then is this guy right here, right? In other words, you could cut this crap off and do what? Stick it in there. So Mr. Green, are you saying if I wanted to find the average value of a function, I would take the integral from A to B, f of x dx, and divide out by its width? That's literally what I'm saying. By the way, that's exactly what we did a minute ago, isn't it? We found the area under the curve, right? There was four actual rectangles that time. So I didn't really do an integral, but I did do an integral because I found the area under a curve. And then I divided by the width. Well, the second time I did, the first time I divided by 40 for some unknown reason. Well, and then I was like, oh, look at that. That is a very straightforward procedure. This is the average value of a function. It is literally maybe the easiest thing in Calc 2 you'll ever see. So you just make it into a box. So, yeah, that's yeah, not very hard. Am I right? That's what, first grade, you learn how to find the area of a box or something? So don't give me this whole, I'm too stupid crap. Because you're not, lady. You're not. You're not at all. Now, just saying. Okay? Now, this next thing is going to fake some of you out. Some of you will find this to be easier than the actual integrals. That's because you're weird, just so we're clear. Okay? If you find this way of doing it easier, or this problem jumps out to you as being easier, then you, I think, are weird. So the time in minutes, there's an E there, obviously, and this is in liters per minute that something is draining. And so, 0, 50, 1, no, I'm sorry, not 1, 0.5, oh, yeah, that's right. 48. 1. 46. This is a really lame problem. 1.5. 44. 2. 42. 2.5. 40. And 3. 38. Yawn, yawn. Boring, boring. Now, what can we do here? We can write that the draining process is what? We can start off with what? Y equals, we could write an equation for this, can't we? What is it? 50 minus 4T, something like that, is that right? It drains out four every, se every second or minute or whatever? Yeah? It's two every half, but it's, it's yes, it's four every whole. Nice. And so, the question literally says, estimate the total amount of water drained in the first three minutes. I don't know. Let's find out. Right? From zero to three. Yeah. Let's compute the average. Okay, so let's do this thing. Blush. All right. Now, of course, that's just 50T. 
minus 2t squared, 0 to 3. 150 minus uh, 18, I think. 132. Yay. And the crowd goes wild. Does that work? Does that work? You like that? There's more, though. What does this kind of look like if you come back up here and look at it? Something we just did recently. Could we, I'm just throwing this out there, could we take a look at the right and left sum? I'm just saying, could we do that? Why would you do it? Because it's so perfect. I wouldn't. But if it wasn't perfect, this would be a good job for midpoint rule or for or for like right and left sums, things like this. Yes? To get an, a, an estimate of it? Let's try the let's try the left sum first, shall we? So what we have? 50 plus 48 plus 46 plus 44 plus 42 plus 40, right? Right? And then what will we multiply by? What's our delta T in this case? Should be 0.5, uh, yes? So something looks a little fishy there, but let's go ahead and crunch that number out. I have not worked this problem out ahead of time. I just thought, what the heck, I'll just grab it. What is it? Is it for reals? For reals. Wow. That's a little bigger than this guy. Yeah. I bet the left sum smaller. The, I'm sorry, the right sum. From here to here? From here to here? And you plus it up? And then times it by 0.5, what do you get? So from here to here, what do you get? What do you get? What do you get? What do you get? I don't know. What do you get? What do you get? What do you get? Anybody? Uh, it feels like you're a little off. 129? I'd buy that for a nickel. I don't know. He's right. 129? Why would that might be a good bet? Because it's perfectly linear. I'm just saying. So if the one's three bigger, the other one probably is going to be three smaller. In other words, they're exactly the same amount on either side of it. But whatevs. Oh my gosh! What do you know? The real amount is in between. Mm, shocked, I tell you. Shocked. Okay. So in 5.5, that's what you're going to be doing a lot of. They're going to give you rates. Rates. So some of them will be in the form of, hey, here's a function that describes the rate. Go, integrate now. Some will be in the form of this kind of a do-hoo. All right, use right or left sums. Or in the case of this one, which is so freaking obvious, write an equation for it. That's cool, too. I'm okay with that. Or, wait for it. Oh, my word. This one's exciting. Er! Zero. Five. Wait. This is 10, 20... 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, yay! This is the rate of mice per day caught in a trap. I don't know. I don't know. I just made it up. Who cares? Okay. It could be anything. How on earth are we going to integrate this thing? Mr. Graham, are there going to be like extra little divisions in the book where I could do this little thing? Yes. So you're telling me I basically have to do right, left sum, or midpoint sum, or what have you, kind of eyeballing it? It's literally what I'm telling you. Am I, am I going to finish this problem? Okay. Because it's just like we did on our, on our project, huh? Right? So this one is actually, for instance, right here, I'm describing this page, right, look! Oh, you could just like go and, oh, ah. not very difficult. Not very difficult at all. What does it say to do on this problem, Mr. Graham? I don't know, I didn't read it. Uh, estimate the energy, it just says estimated. It just says estimated. And it goes, it has like, like every hour or whatever. Well, I'd probably go with the delta x at point one if it was me, that's just hypothetical. And Somewhere on this deal, like if this was, I don't know, this is like a half a day and this is one day here or something, whatever. You know, a person could estimate right there, 
that there's a box right there, right, with a height of about 19 for my height here, maybe. I just made that up. Okay, and, and then you go over another one. So, and, this, and then you go over another half of one. So, right in here somewhere. Print. And that's like 16 or something. I'm just making these up as I go, of course. If that's the case, then my delta x is 0.5, yes? On this one all the way across? Then you can just eyeball it and kind of go from there. It's no different than we did on our projects, yes? Except that, the only, oh yeah, I should say that. It's a little different in that you're not using Excel. You have to like jot the numbers down. That should go. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what 5.5 five is. Oh my gosh, it is so easy. Again, I cannot stress that enough. There will be some sort of a rate, and you're going to be integrating a rate from A to B. That's literally all you're doing. How do I do it? Is it a picture? Sometimes. Is it a chart of numbers? Maybe. Is it an actual function? Yeah, could be. This is where we really like a function. Function rates are the easiest, I think, unless it's a nice rectangular picture, which is actually pretty cool too. But for the most part, I think that's a pretty slick deal. Yeah. Questions, comments, concerns? Any questions on the homework at all? You want to see? I'd love to help. I mean, it's my job. <coughs> Which one? Oh, that, yes, I got to finish that. Gosh, darn it. All right, I got to get that done. Which one is it again? That is. I should jot that down. Because uh, I'll say I'll do it, but I won't do it. Five point three, five point five, six, five point six. Is that right? Sure. Cool. Whatever. I'll get on it. All right. Other questions, comments, concerns? No. Maybe. Yes. No. All right. Cool. Get some work done. Uh, yeah. I think we'll review tomorrow. Um, and then, then Paul will be here. I don't know what he's going to talk about. We haven't really talked about. What he's going to.